to our channel. In this video, we are going to see how to use open source Python library called Streamlit that helps us to create and share beautiful custom web applications for machine learning and data science. Streamlit is the fastest way to build and share data applications. Streamlit turns your data scripts into web applications in minutes. First, I'm going to install uh, Streamlit with pip install Streamlit. Since I have the Streamlit library already installed, the showing recommend already satisfied. I'm going to use uh, PyCharm for this demo. Import. Yes. So in this, uh, you can give a title like this, SD dot. So you have so many options for in the Streamlit library. Basically, uh, you can create a bar chart, write, pie plot, subheader. So I'm going to just write, uh, just take a title for this uh, web app. And just give hello world. You need to change the directory to the folder where the script is located. Mine is located here. And to run the Streamlit application, you need to give Streamlit run and the script name. Minus strip streamlit underscore example dot point. So it usually runs in the local host with the port number 8501. So streamlit has launched your app uh, on uh, local host 8501. So this is a hello world that we have written. I'm going to show you one more uh, streamlit functionality which is echo which helps to show what's going on in here. So for example, if you are assigning a value, x is equal to 50. So we just want to show this line in the web app, for example. We can use uh, st.echo. Let's run it. So now it has shown you the uh, value that we have just given it with the uh, echo function. So similarly, we can add uh, uh, any variables that we want and we can show all the variables, echo all the variables that we have assigned into the web application. So now I'm going to add the next variable. This y is equal to 50, sorry, 60. Um, now I'm going to run it again. So it shows the second uh, variable x is equal to 60. So now let's add x and y with another st.echo. So is that equal to plus x minus x. So again you can run this using uh, streamlit run and the script name streamlit underscore example dot file. So it will show. So you can also pass anything inside uh, st dot write for example if you want to write um, write a data frame sorry um, to write a data frame, we need a pandas library, so we can import pandas. Write data frame. So we have a first column. One comma two comma three comma four. And you have a a second column, second column, which is 10, 20, 30, 40. So let's see, let's run this file. So let's look at our data frame so this is the data frame that we have just created with the first column and the second column so you don't need to use st.write at all 
we can just replace it with just a data frame for example pd dot data frame and we have a first column we just one comma two comma three comma four and we have a second column and 40 okay we just we are just going to use df the variable without using the st dot write so even in this case uh, streamlit will uh, display and support uh, df uh, data frame okay let's run this one so again it picks up without st dot write so this one is we have passed the data frame inside st dot write whereas in this case we haven't passed but still uh, uh, the streamlet can able to show the data frame now let's see how to create a line chart with the streamlet so for this i'm going to use uh, nump so you have a chart data variable and you create a data frame and I'm creating a random number using a numpy library and also giving the column names as A, B and C so after creating this um, data frame, we are going to display that as a line chart. So now it has uh, taken a random number and has uh, displayed a line chart with the streamlet. We can also use st.map to plot uh, data points on a map. For example, if we have a map data and we have, let's create a data frame with a random number again, random. So this is a random number taking the latitude and longitude of uh, San Francisco. So 37.76 minus 22.44. And we have also the columns. Latitude and the longitude. Now we are going to plot it using st.plot and we can just pass the map data data frame. So let's uh, run this application. So we have plotted uh, uh, sample data points uh, on the map of uh, San Francisco. You can also create checkbox uh, and uh, select. So ST dot uh, checkbox can take a single argument, which is a widget uh, label. So let's see how we can create a checkbox. Okay, I'm going to create another variable chart data and create a data frame again uh, a random number array and using three columns which is a b c 
so I'm going to use uh, a line chart and chart data so we're going to pick uh, whether we want to show A or B or C so with this we can able to um, show a checkbox called show data frame and once uh, this uh, checkbox is clicked then uh, this will be shown otherwise it will not be shown in the web page so let's run this one so we have a show data frame checkbox once we click on it we'll uh, see the line chart uh, once we disable it we will not uh, see the data frame you can also uh, use a select box uh, using streamlit for example we are going to select an option using the select box and we have which number do you like okay so this is a question and we are going to show a data frame We have our data frame already and we will pick the first column so this is going to pick one two three and four and display it to the user so the user can pick and once a user has selected we can just display is selected this particular option so let's run this one So by default, uh, it would be uh, the first uh, column value, which is uh, one. You can also select two, so it will be appended to this uh, text, which is you selected two. Similarly for three and four. We can also able to use uh, beta columns, which is another functionality, which is used to lay out the widgets side by side. For example, if we have uh, left column we have a right column so these are just variable and we can able to use beta column functionality and we are going to have two columns we have another variable which just to show have a left column and you have a button and you are asking to Uh, if that particular column is uh, pressed so if that is pressed you can just try you can use the right column and write okay now we can also use a beta expander beta expander and you have some another section called uh, frequently asked questions so you if you want to hide this particular thing you can use a uh, beta expander for example Here you can put really, really long explanations. Okay, so basically the usage of beta expander is used to minimize or conserve uh, space by hiding out a large content let's see how this works let's see how this works so in this we have used beta columns when we press the left column button it will display the right column 
So this uh, FAQ, frequently asked question, has uh, beta expander functionality. Once we click on it, we can see the uh, very long explanations that we have written using that expander. So far, we have seen uh, how to create a title for our uh, web application and also assigning it to variables and uh, also displaying the code uh, fragment using st.echo and we have displayed the variable using st.write and uh, this one is we have just passed our data frame inside uh, st.write we can also display the data frame without uh, st.write it automatically picks up the data frame and uh, we have seen how to create a line chart with st uh, streamlit and we have also seen how to map uh, data points on uh, San Francisco map and uh, also we have uh, seen the checkbox so once it is clicked we can see the uh, line chart so once it is displayed uh, disabled we, can, we can't able to see and also we have uh, seen the drop down select box uh, by default it would be one so we can select two three and uh, four so it will be automatically updated here and we have seen uh, the beta columns uh, once we press it will display the right column and also we have seen the expander i hope you enjoyed uh, creating a web application using streamlit and uh, there are a lot of other functionalities uh, that uh, streamlit supports uh, you can create any type of uh, charts uh, graphs, maps and uh, also progress bars and things like that. We will see that in our next video. So one other uh, alternative to Streamlit is Flask and I have also published a video on uh, uh, using Flask. If you want to watch that video, you can click on the above link to watch it. If you like our video, please give a thumbs up. If you have any comments, write it in our comment section and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.